Hi guys, my name is Roger, and I'm building a mid-engine supercar in the basement of my home. Let's take a look at what I've been working on this week. Well, here is this tub assembly that I've been calling it. It is all glued together, and I have this glue jug sitting here on the front for a ballast for weight to keep it from falling off the table. But I think this glued together nicely. I need to go back in all of my seams and run a bead of urethane just as a extra precaution to make sure that it is airtight. It'll also make the joints look cleaner and be stronger. But uh, before I do that, I actually need to buy the urethane. I don't have any here, but before uh, that takes place, I'm gonna take this over here and try to install it in the car. I had uh, I had purchased some glue, but I, this is all the glue I had. I, I ran out and I had originally intended on mounting the pieces here in the rear for the back firewall and the piece here on the front for the front firewall. I had decided not to attach the pieces in the rear. I'm going to do that a little bit differently. And because I don't believe I'm going to be able to put this in the car, install it and remove it with the front firewall attached to it, uh, just because of the tight tolerance of the fit. I'm thinking about bolting the front on once this is installed in the car and making it removable and then doing the same in the rear, which I was planning on anyways, bolting it to the tub and making it removable. Uh, but I'm, I'm still looking at some options on which way to do it. But right now I believe that's the way I'm going to do. I'm going to try to insert this in the car right now and see how easily it fits in and out. Uh, what kind of complications I run into and then try to see if uh, bolting it in on the front and the rear is the best option but uh, let me drop this in right quick and see how easy it goes in and uh, I'll show you again once it's in the car okay I was able to put this tub back in the car fairly easily it took a little work I had to remove the steering wheel it was in the way but once I removed the steering wheel, I was able to work my way across and drop it back in. And once I had it sitting in place, I was able to put all of the seat bolts back in. So all of those holes aligned. And I was able to put the Clecos back in place that attached this tub to the firewall on both sides. So all of those holes aligned. I, uh, I like how easily this installed and removes. And I believe I am going to go ahead and make these separate pieces. I'll put a plate in underneath the firewall piece here and all the way around the front here where this tunnel area meets the firewall. And uh, I'll probably pop rivet a metal plate with some uh, PIM nuts attached to it. That way I'll have uh, fasteners for the uh, machine screws to thread into, into the PIM nuts. Uh, on the bottom side of the firewall here and then all the way around the perimeter here and those bolts will all be hidden by carpet and uh, I think I'm going to do the same thing back here in the back I'm going to have the same machine screws that I used to bolt across the top here into this aluminum piece I'll have down here across the bottom also so they'll match and then by doing that I'm thinking these two separate sides back here for this rear firewall and uh, this center console cover that comes up into the speaker area may all be glued together as one assembly so when you remove this to service the engine you remove this entire back firewall and you'd have access to the tanks and the engine and everything and much larger access than just what i was originally planning with uh, about eight or ten inches here in the center i'm thinking this is a better way to do this it'll be easy to remove that panel that large panel and get to everything to service it and it'll also be easier to uh, uninstall remove all of this parts here if i need to for some reason in the future um, with it being just one large assembly it's going to be extremely hard to remove but being three pieces like this i think it would be a much better option so unless i change my mind that's the plan i'm going to do moving forward and uh I guess that brings you up to speed for now. Let me figure out exactly what I'm going to do next. Well, here is this tub assembly. I just uh, taped out all of the seams and applied the urethane in the uh, joints to try to make them stronger and kind of hide the seams also. I uh, 
I put the urethane on the inside corners here. I wasn't very careful about how that looks because all of that's hidden. But I caulked all of the seams here for strength. I did these seams here for strength and to hide the edges. The, the black urethane kind of blends in well. I think once all this is uh, clear coated with a nice clear coat and then I'll put back in the car and all the trimmings, you know, the carpet and the seat hiding most of this joint. I think all this will look nice. All of these joints up in here will be hidden. And I did everything on the top side and everything on the bottom side up in the inside joints and here on the floors just to try to strengthen this and it also keeps it from uh, leaking any uh, hopefully any sound or any air it should be airtight i went ahead and plugged all of the holes here where my clecos were just to make sure they were airtight but once this all dries it doesn't take very long but i'll, I'll let this sit tonight once all this dries, I can come back and clean up some of these joints just a little bit better and install this back in the car just to make sure that everything still fits and aligns. Before I put it back in the car, I need to trim this opening here for the gear shifter just a little bit larger. Uh, the hole is not large enough to shift into all the gears. It was just a center hole and I was able to drop it into the car. It aligned with the gear shifter okay. I just wasn't able to shift into all the gears. It would go in, uh, I think third and fifth was the only gears it would go into. Everything else, it was kind of banging a little bit with the edges of the carbon fiber. But I'll trim that out, open it up some, and then we can reinstall this back in the car, make sure everything still fits nicely, and make sure I can reach all of the gears without bumping into the carbon fiber and the opening. But uh, that's a quick little update for now, and I'll check back with you tomorrow. Well, you may notice I did not post a video last week, and it's been uh, it's been three weeks since I posted the last video. I had COVID for about uh, you know about seven or eight days. I'm still honestly not a hundred percent over it. I have been working on the car for the last few days. I'm feeling a little better. I just don't sound a hundred percent correct. You can see that I've made the parts here, these four parts sitting here for this mold for the uh, rear center console. I need to start gluing these together and finishing this mold. There's one piece here that's not cut. It's just a flat piece. I'll make that by hand and glue it in. But I need to do a little bit of finishing work on these to make sure everything aligns correctly and then start gluing these together. And I have a cut list here for the next mold, the part that goes on top of this where the speaker actually mounts in. And I think I'm gonna go ahead and finish both of these molds at the same time and make uh, both parts at the same time and bake them in the oven. Uh, both of these are fairly small and I believe it would be easy to do both of them at the same time and it'll help me finish both of these and get them out of the way. So that's my plan and uh, as soon as I get both of these molds finished I'll start working on the parts themselves. It will be at least one more week but uh, just depends on how fast these molds finish. And a couple of other things to show you that I've been working on for the last two weeks. I got this uh, carbon fiber tub assembly all glued together. Maybe hard to see the glue joints, but there are some urethane. You can see after I glued it together, I took urethane and caulked up all of the seams and installed this. I put the rivet nuts in and bolted this in solid and have this all installed. I actually, I 3D printed this centerpiece and installed it. This is just kind of a fit and function model to make sure that I had it dimensioned correctly and take a look how it fits in the car and what it looks like. I uh, This isn't a final prototype. It's just uh, something that I had modeled to get me started. It will change some. I'm not sure exactly what the final piece will look like yet. But I just wanted to see how this fit. You can see here that the, uh, this is just sitting in here, but this is the start stop button for the car that will mount in that pocket. The switch will mount here for the parking brake. I haven't test fit that and make sure it fits yet, but I, I will. It's underneath the tub assembly right now. I can't get to it. And you can see how that fits back in here. That will be modified some also. I don't know how it's going to interact here together just yet. But this is what I had modeled initially just to test fit. I'll change that some before I have this part made. 
out of the uh, correct material. Still trying to find someone that can see and see this out of aluminum. And uh, <clears throat> I'm just not quite sure who's going to do that yet. I have one or two people, one or two avenues to look at and uh, see if I can get that made out of aluminum. It's 3D printed. I think it would look better. And, and anodize. If I can black anodize that part, it would look really nice. I want to give you a little better view of this uh, insert piece here. So you can kind of see what it looks like and how it interacts with the uh, rest of the console area. Gear shifter, start stop button. That's what it looks like. Um, I have one more thing to show you that I've been working on this week, so let's go take a look at that. Okay, this is the other thing I wanted to show you. I finally got around to 3D printing a model of the car, and I, I made this as a 3D printed part just to test that the files were correct and there was no holes and everything aligned like it should before I spent the money for an SLA. But the quality is not as good as this is on an SLA part, but it's not bad. It gives you an overall look of the car. I just wanted to show you this from some different angles. I have put a uh, Corvette C8 rear spoiler on it, like the Z07 spoiler. I like the shape of that. I thought it looked good with this car. That gives you some different perspectives on the cards to give you an idea of what it's going to look like. I'm pretty happy with this model and I think I'm going to go ahead and proceed with the SLA just as soon as I get a chance. But uh, this gives you a good idea of what the car is going to look like proportionally and I hope you like the look of it. And I guess that's going to be about it for this week's video. I'll see you guys again in about two weeks where hopefully we'll have the last two interior components made and possibly fit it inside the car and then we can get started on making the first uh, body panel on the outside of the car which will be the roof. See you guys again in two weeks.